for joining us. Um, we are here with the team from the Ministry of Transport and Works, along with a number of the businesses in the owners of the businesses in the Spikestone area. I also have with me the um, parliamentary representative and minister Colin Jordan. Um, we would have invited also personnel from the BTA, NCC. Um, and the drainage unit obviously within MTW. This morning we came down not simply to be able to review the traffic changes within the last few weeks that would have caused some concern for the residents in Spitestone, but we also wanted to continue to look comprehensively at a number of the challenges that the residents in Spitestone area are facing. Uh, when we made the decision a few weeks ago in relation to the traffic changes, um, you would have heard the MP for the area also allude to the fact that we wanted to review the changes as we got, had a, at least a week or so to allow persons to use the, the new um, traffic management uh, protocols that we have put in place. Um, we have done so, there have been a few people who have been very boisterous, very loud um, and shared their concerns and we appreciate that. The truth is we, we never expected that anything that we put in place, that that is going to be the only way that it can be done. And so with the consultation that we've had with each of the business owners who would have spoken, we also this morning spoke to other business people in the area. We went actually directly to some of the residents, um, we went to some of the property owners and we spoke to them about how the traffic changes had been working since we introduced them. Many of them have indicated um, that the biggest concern has been the Chapel Street area, um, which we had turned into a one-way one street. Um, many of them have been affected in terms of the traffic flow. A number of the persons have obviously not been able to get to their businesses. Um, so there have been some challenges by making that particular decision. Um, and as a consequence, um, on the review with the Traffic Management Division, we've agreed that we will actually reverse that change and we will have the Chapel Street area return to a two-way system. Um, we also toured the area in relation to um, other concerns in terms of how the one-way system on Spikestone is working. Uh, one of the interesting comments I think that struck me was also from a tourist who actually um, had come here before when it was a two-way system. And now that it's a one-way, the, the lady in, interacted with us and indicated that it was actually a lot easier to come into Spikestone to use the area. Um, and in addition to that, she appreciated the designated parking spaces. The, both the locals and the residents highlighted one of the other challenges that we're facing in this area, which is parking. Because a lot of the tourists don't like to park too far to be able to come into the, the, the main area of Spitestown. And so to the locals don't also like to park too far um, to be able to come in to do their shopping. We do have a BTI car park, um, which in discussions with BTI, we may need to look at additional lighting to make that area a little bit more um, safe in terms of at night in particular. Um, and we will have to obviously work with maybe the tour operators to have some perhaps designated parking within the car park so that in addition to the pick up and drop off system, you can also have a situation where the tour buses can actually park in a designated area, um, having dropped off the passengers and be able to then join them later for the pick up in the area close to the boardwalk. So the, I think the tour has been useful. We've looked at the drainage issues in the, in the community. There are quite a few. Uh, we're going to have to improve some of the roads. Um, I feel very strongly about Spikestown as I do about the other towns. I think that it, this, these are areas where, um, which has, has a lot of history, first of all, but it also is uh, you know, a very busy area for economic activity and has the potential to feed a lot of people in, in communities like this. And so I know through the ministry we're going to be able to improve some of the side roads that lead on to the main Spitestone area. We have looked at the, um, the depot heads are here as well. We've looked at improving some of the walkways along the streets because that stands out in my mind as one of the major problems where a lot of the culverts are broken. Um, you have pathways that are you know, very uneven in terms of the surfaces and obviously, especially for elderly people, um, you know, it, it provides a, a, a factor of risk in terms of them being able to traverse the area properly. So we have addressed a number of those concerns and I know the depot, as soon as the financial year begins, will obviously be able to do some of the repairs to some of those key roads in the area. Um, we have noticed as well that there are a lot of abandoned buildings um, in the community. Um, obviously, people have purchased the properties over the years and that has made, I think, the areas seem a little bit run down. There are businesses that are thriving, but you also have a number of business owners um, who have not necessarily tended to their properties. Um, I'm not sure what the reasons are, but I think I would certainly appeal to them to maintain the property 
or at least try to um, improve the surroundings so that the, this general area of the Spikestown community does not look as though it is deteriorating in the rapid pace that it currently looks like right now. Uh, we've asked SSA to also be able to do some more regular pickups because we've noticed that the vendors have no real designated area um, to place their garbage and there are quite a few of them along the streets. So we want to make sure that we can improve some of those areas where persons are able to dispose of garbage um, adequately. Um, we've also looked at issues relating to the, dr the grills on the boardwalk. Um, we had some persons who um, would have been um, injured recently that was brought to my attention and we've been working with BTI and MTW to be able to and NCC to be able to try to find a resolution to be able to replace the, the grill 